This video is going to demonstrate how to use Causa Draft within IronCAD XG for 2D design, including uh, working with imported uh, AutoCAD DWG data or DXF data for that matter, and also bringing in uh, views of a 3D model uh, through the IronCAD scene. So I'm going to start with uh, clicking New here and go to Causa Draft. And from the template menu, I'm going to select the ISO A3. All right, to begin the design here, I'm going to go to the uh, part library. And the uh, CosaDraft part library is an extensive uh, collection of uh, nuts, bolts, flanges, you know, motors, jigs, you name it. Uh, there's pretty much everything mechanicals here. Uh, you can customize this uh, library with uh, your own geometry you've created or with imported geometry. So it's easy to customize and create your own libraries. Um, I'm going to start actually here with a flange. Take just a, a standard flange here and drop it into the scene and select a size from the menu and just hit finish. That allows me to precisely place that anywhere in the drawing. I can rotate that if I want or just right click to take the default angle and then right click again to finish that command. I'm going to zoom in here and I want to draw a base plate on the bottom of the flange. So I'll uh, go up here to the geometry creation tools. These are all pretty standard 2D design tools that anybody that's used a 2D CAD system can uh, easily learn. Um, all the creation tools, um, some special advanced drawing tools here, all the edit, modify, and, and dimensioning all right here in one palette. I'll start with rectangle here. One uh, nice thing about Cause of Draft is that you don't have to remember a lot of command option hotkeys. So all the command options are right down here at the status line with uh, some simple menus. So I can choose uh, rectangle by length and width. I've put in the 200 by 25 uh, size rectangle I want. So I just click and place that. I'm going to drop in some lines here for the uh, vertical edges of the uh, holes through the base plate. And copy those into place. Okay, and then right click again to finish the command. Uh, I'll go up to uh, hatch here. I'm going to add the section lines for the uh, section view here. And I just pick the uh, islands here that I want to place uh, the uh, hatch lines in. Right click to finish, places those. And I want to change the angle though. So uh, with any object, you just select and you can uh, edit uh, properties through the property tab here. So I come in, take the rectangle or uh, rotation angle to uh, 135 and uh, make that change and then again hit uh, escape here to uh, deselect. Alright, at this point I want to go back to the part library and I'm going to go back up to the top level, go to uh, bolt and stud and just drop in a standard bolt. And I just want uh, one view of that and then I can choose the size I want. I want an M14 and I want to change the length. Oops. Uh, 60 there. There we go. Hit finish. And then I can drop that in in any precise point. I use the O snap intersection there and click that parallel with the center line. And again, do the same thing on this side and set the rotation angle. Just right click to finish that. And back in the part library again, I can go up and add a hex nut and just drag it out get the menu. I want a size uh, 14 there and I just want a sim simple uh, side view of that so I select those. I turn off the toggles for the other views and hit finish and I'm going to zoom down in here and uh, what I'm using right now is called the guide uh, O-snap mode and the, the nice thing about the guide is it allows me to create uh, or snap to virtual intersections so I can uh, find this endpoint or intersection here and virtually it'll copy over and extend to the next entity and give me an intersection there and then I can just rotate the bolt around with the nut I mean and you notice when I place the nut the lines for the bolt get trimmed off automatically so that creates a kind of a realistic uh, view of that uh, assembly there and I'll do the same thing on this side find the intersection rotate it around and I'm done so very convenient tools for placing uh, standard parts I'll come back now and at this point I want to uh, import uh, some uh, DWG data so what I do is I just uh, go to open and I'm going to browse to the DWG file post DWG and open that up 
Now what I can do is just select all that. I want to copy that into my design. So I go in here to the edit menu and click copy with base point. And this will allow me to select a base point for copying. And I can switch back to my new document here and just go into edit and paste and allow me to place it right in line where I want it to be. And again, there's an option to rotate. I'll just right click to take the default angle. So that's one way to uh, bring in outside data. Uh, another method would be to bring in a view of the 3D model of the same part. So I'm going to undo the import there. And then I'm going to come over here to the 3D interface tab. And this is where you can create drawing views of 3D models via the uh, IronCAD scene file. And the uh, IronCAD scene file can contain any type of uh, 3D model. If it's a, from a step file, IGIS, Parasolid, ASIS, whatever uh, you have there, you can bring that into IronCAD and then make 2D views of it via this uh, 3D interface uh, set of commands. So I'll start with standard view. I'll pull up this dialog here and I'm going to browse first to the scene file also called post uh, but .ics and uh, hit open there and that will give me a default primary front view uh, orientation if that's uh, what I want I could choose that otherwise I can uh, you know, reorient it with these commands here and so I select a front view is what I want I want to uh, set the scale to one to one also I'm going to go over to the options here turn off the center lines and center marks I don't want those automatically created and I just hit OK I'm just going to drop the view in here and then I can uh, position it precisely with the move command. Just go from one midpoint to the next and I've got my uh, my uh, you know 3D uh, model uh, view laid out right inside my 2D design there. At this point I can go in and put in some dimensions. Uh, the dimension tool is a, a single point tool where you can uh, either pick various edges and uh, grab a dimension or you can uh, click uh, multiple points. If you pick a radius uh, or arc, it'll give you a radius dimension. If you pick a circle, it'll give you a diameter and so forth. You can place angles all with uh, the same tool. You can also dimension right on the view from the 3D model and uh, that'll create the dimension here. And the benefit of this is that the uh, dimension and the model geometry is all uh, associative back to the 3D model file. So at any point I can come in here and uh, right click on the part itself, go to edit scene, and it'll pull up the 3D model that's associated with that drawing view. And I can make uh, the changes that I need. I'll come in here and I'm going to raise the height of this guy here to 25. Now I can toggle back over to my drawing and what we'll get is a message that will pop up here. And the information from the 3D view has been changed. Do you want to update? I'm going to say yes. And you can see it updates the geometry, updates the dimension, gives me uh, exactly what uh, what I need there. So, so this is uh, just a good overview here uh, of uh, using uh, CausaDraft to do 2D design in conjunction with 3D modeling and uh, imported geometry. So uh, enjoy and uh, thank you very much.